Hello and welcome to my old bedroom. My sister and I used to share this room for 12 years before I moved out a couple of years ago. There used to be a bunk bed, but where my sister went off to uni, we got rid of the top bunk and just kept my bed. However, pretty much all the decor is still the same. And this is the floor space that my sister and I had to share while we squabbled over the Lego. It will be cool. And, oh yeah. That's the cock crew on the roof. The dimensions are six foot five by eight foot twelve. So let's get started. The boxes under my bed are actually recycled vegetable boxes that my mum found uh, from Waitrose and all the supermarkets that no longer wanted them. Starting off with box number one. This is my box. This is where I keep all my cookbooks and random electrical stuff and also my sleepover journal things where I do quizzes with my friends to see if we were really compatible. In my box I found my jar of dreams that I made when I was about eight. It was created on the 25th of April 2012 and finished on the 28th of April 2012. It took me three days. This one is rescue a puppy or buy one at least. This one says, <laughs> meet Taylor Swift. <laughs> Also in that box I keep my makeup, as you can tell I don't go in there often, it's quite dusty. But onto box number two, this is my arts and crafts box where I keep all of my birthday cards and thank you cards so when I write back to you guys I will generally take them out of this box. I also found my old Walkman in here with the only CD that I actually own and it's Leona Lewis's Glass Heart. I like to be prepared so I have my Christmas cards for next year already and 50 straws for some weird reason. Oh, and not forgetting the stress ball, the Q8 stress ball. Box number three, this is my sister's arts and crafts box where I found her sticker stamp thing, which I quickly commandeered to label every item I could think of. However, the coolest thing by far in her box is my granddad's camera. It's still fully functioning. It uses film and all that. It does need a little bit of a clean, but it's so beautiful. Box number four, this is also my sister's box. This box is by far the coolest decorated one. It's covered in photos of our childhood and us as babies and stuff. My sister was kind enough to let me show you guys her scrapbook. We both kept scrapbooks when we were younger and I always tried to make mine look as cool as hers, but you could always tell that I was the younger sister. So, this was explained in my 20 facts video, which if you haven't seen, I'll link that in the description box below. And this is our wardrobe equivalent. I used to measure myself against this every Christmas. That is so depressing. I don't grow anymore. Just stopped. This is old. Would you look at that layer of dust? Or in this drawer I kept my first ever pair of high heels which I bought behind my mum's back so I had to hide them in a drawer so she wouldn't find them. And so the fairy thing continues. <sighs> if you move past all of this, you will get Gamester Fanny Pack and my Nintendo Charger. I used to walk around town wearing this. Damn it. I used to be obsessed with throwaway cameras. This is all the film. This is Topsy and she is my Nan's dog, a miniature snapchat. Trade, trade cute. This is random shells and perfumes. Look at my cool button collection. I know. <laughs> I can eat my rice with pencils. Thank you, Rianne. Only two or three years ago did me and my sister actually get our first desk. Because this room is so small, this is where my love for space efficiency definitely came from. It's such a cool desk, you can fold everything out and fold it all back down and it takes up no space at all. Oh, by the way, I'm also a princess, if you didn't know. As a child, I also had a thing for butterflies, whereas my sister had a thing for momijis. 
It wouldn't be a childhood bedroom without teddies. Of course, mine are the cute ones and Poimi has a few weird ones. However, hands down, the coolest thing about our bedroom is the ceiling. When you turn off the lights at night time, we have stars that glow and then they slowly fade away. It's really, really cool. It sounds like it's farting. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, make sure to give it a big thumbs up and subscribe to weekly videos every Thursday. And I'll see you next week. Have a nice day. Bye-bye.